I modified my compass motor. So I turned it upside down so the electronics are on the top of the bottom disc. So you can see the battery here and the Arduino. And you can see the N20 motor under here. And then the magnets are down here. And what I've done is I've gotten these three millimeter universal couplings. So I'm going to try it first with just one coupling. And then I'm going to try it again with two couplings. Because two couplings might work better. But I'm hoping this will reduce the friction and enable to reduce the uh, wobble and the vibration and make it able to go faster. So let me turn it on. So it takes a little doing to get it started. Now, my theory is that the magnets want to point down a little on the north end because of the dip in New York State. The dip of the Earth's magnetic um, field. So that was causing a lot of vibration. So you can see those bottom magnets, the magnets on the bottom are wobbling a little. But the rest of the motor is staying pretty steady. Now I'm going to have to see how fast I can get it to go. Now I have no idea how fast it's going right now. I'm gradually increasing the speed. And it seems like that universal coupling is absorbing some of the wobble and vibration. But it doesn't sound like it's going as fast as before when the magnets were on top. That's about top speed. I might try to go a little faster. And then we'll run it in slow motion and count the number of turns. That's a little faster. Now the thing about one universal coupling instead of using two is that the speed on both ends of the coupling is not the same. The speed on the input part of the coupling, there it's going too fast. The speed on the input coupling is turning at a steady speed but the speed on the output coupling is variable so we'll see how that works